jujitsu morning, uh, no gi today. Feel something. It's I can't tell if it's your stomach. Oh, what was that? Yeah, your stomach is gurgling. <laughs> I forgot to say I gotta get the the tag for this bike. I've been riding around without a tag, and that's not really a good idea. Um, but it's just been the move and all the other stuff is getting in the way. So I'm gonna show you what it's like. Not only just to buy something here, but to register it. Hopefully they don't juice me. But we'll see. I'm riding to like the, the western, northwestern part of town. Um, but it shouldn't take me like 15 minutes. Also, I need to stop and get something to hold this phone because I can't navigate. When you buy a new bike, definitely get something to hold your phone. So I had to come and get this uh, cover for the bike. Not cover, but um, phone holder because I can't do anything without it. Let me show you where I'm at. So this is the place I came. Uh, I was actually looking at the, uh, what is it called? The Vespas here. And English is escaping me today. So this is where they have basically, I mean, all the stuff. I just didn't buy from here because I wanted a specific type of bike. Like they had that one right there, but I think it was like the only one and then working on my bike right now but let me show you the best bus I was looking at too oh it's not they got helmets I'm looking for one for Nina um, yeah this is what I was looking to buy and actually I'm gonna suggest it to a friend of mine to get one of these because they're not they're not bad priced they're used but you can't go wrong definitely helpful um, but I'm here now let me show you this so it's this whole building and it's by that mall uh, I think I don't know if I posted a video of that today but I'll have to see what it's like to go up in here so I'm at the door my buddy is like now let me in hold up So I'm gonna show you exactly what they want from me and like what I should have brought. So they asked for my passport, they asked for my ID, um, they asked for this right here, which is um, proof that I bought the motorcycle, and then they brought, they told me to come here on this day. So the appointment is almost a month from now, so I don't even know what I'm gonna do if I get pulled over. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But yeah, so I'm basically riding around with no place uh, until June 5th. So we're at Nina's Jiu Jitsu class right now. I say this class is so worth it because, like, look at how many teachers there are. There's another teacher as well right back here. So you get that one on one with the kid. Looking good. Now we get ice cream. I don't know. <laughs> oh, 
The other day, I was gonna get him. I told you I was gonna get him, and we got him. Nina, what you got? Nothing. Just drumsticks. What you got drumsticks for? For the guitar. For the guitar? Mm -hmm. Where's the guitar? Show me it. Go show me it. Where are they? That's not them. Yeah! Power went out. Um, so we had to buy it without power, but I got them. I got the drum set for Nina. I just, I had to. One of the things I was talking about with Becca in the store, but I didn't put on camera was one of the reasons why I wanted to buy drums for Nina was because I saw her interest. Um, I remember when I was a kid, my brother wanted drums. And we, my mom, I remember distinctly hearing her say, we don't have the money for that right now. Um, she still found a way and she still got him the drums. He didn't practice, uh, but it doesn't matter. The, the point was that he had an interest and there are people who, you, you know, you never know who, you know, what she could do. And I believe in my child and this is an investment in her. And I feel like that's something my mother has shown me and I feel like it's kind of something, more of just a personal obligation to continue the, the pattern of investing in your children. It was an emotional buy. It was an emotional buy. Uh, that's why it's Becca, she's okay. Good. Seriously? It is hot now that the AC went out, yeah. Oh, I found it. Huh? Oh, okay. So they put the drapes in today. Nice new curtains. And then, yep. Also, Nina has a Lilo and Stitch poster in her room. I go take the trash out. Mm -hmm. What you making for dinner? Green beans, rice, and little veggie nugget things. Why are you cutting on that? Because we forgot a first cutting board in <laughs> the house. What you doing, Nina? Becca's making dinner. The drums should be delivered anytime now. And I'm walking out and I see this. And I'm like, yo, this is beautiful. Like, it's just, a, it's like you're living in paradise. And it's really being able to appreciate these little things, not just, oh, look at them clouds, you know, oh, it's raining. It's actually something to cherish. That's what I was gonna say. Uh, I think I always say this. If you don't appreciate what you have, you don't deserve what you got. Try to always be appreciative of the little things. Oh, that was so beautiful, man. Like, wow. It's like the color on this cloud, too. It's beautiful. Oh, look at that nice little pink house in the neighborhood. So, I got a delicious dinner waiting on me. Nina's got drums. What? Whoa. Whoa. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. It's great. Wow. Big part of the channel for me is uh, how people think vacation is like a thing. You go, you have, you have a good time, and then you come back. To reality and it's like reality is you working a nine-to-five stressed out not really able to make ends meet but really
really you can create a different reality if you want it. It just has to be something that you believe, you know? I don't want to be all motivational or whatever, but that's just the truth of it. It's not really going to be a thing until you actually envision it and believe that you could be in a better position than you are now, or even if you're in a good position, being in a great one, you know? Hey, appreciate it. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you don't, you, you, you don't want to subscribe. And for more curiosity time.